So yesterday in the morning when I was speaking on the main stage, I was talking about how we need to redefine success. So I mean, if you think about your own job, you're thinking about maybe you used to define if it was successful based on how much money you earned. But we know that there's more to it than that. You know, do you get enough free time? Do you like your boss and your colleagues? Uh, do you feel satisfied with the work you're doing? Just knowing the amount of money you earn isn't really a great metric to know if your job is successful or not. In the same way, a destination has been so often looking at how many visitors they get. And that's the wrong metric. We have now see overcrowding happening in so many cities. So I think a better metric, for example, is to look at profit. How much are we earning from these visitors that we, that we want to have? Because that's the real reason we're actually inviting them, is to earn some money from them. So let's actually look at the profit and not just measure how many. Let's look at how well we're protecting our oceans, our beaches, our nature, the, the beautiful architecture. So the things that people are coming to visit need to be protected for generations. How well are we doing that? Local quality of life. If tourism doesn't work for the locals, it doesn't work. As I like to say, a destination can have tourists, but the tourists shouldn't have the destination. And then the last thing for the visitors, let's keep the, the product great. You know, and that means better service, keeping it you know, less crowded, making it a better experience for the visitors in, in all ways possible. A more seamless interaction, make it easier for them to get subway tickets, make it um, ah, new products as well. You want to give them a reason to come back. You know, if you think of a theme park, a theme park adds new rides every year or every other year. Most destinations are going, we have the same stuff we've had for 30 years, but please come. You need to add new things, new experiences, uh, whatever. I mean, this is, this is where you need to be original. And the places that are adding new things are too often just copying other places. So in London, they build the London Eye and that's successful. And then 30 cities put up a similar Ferris wheel and say, look what we have. When it comes to tourism and adding new product, you want to keep it unique and give people a reason to come and visit you. So, I mean, during COVID, it's been really tough for so many people. Um, when I was in Bermuda recently as a tourism conference, I was so inspired to hear how people have managed to sort of first stay alive and then actually do quite well. I mean, thinking of like a, uh, just a couple who owns a small jewelry store and they were only selling jewelry to tourists coming from the cruise ship. And when the cruises stopped, they thought, oh my God, we're gonna go bankrupt. There's no way we can afford to do this. But they were desperate and they turned to e-commerce and started buying ads on Google and Facebook and so forth. And they realized they could actually, they're not doing better than before, but they're doing pretty well. And this is at a time when they didn't think they were gonna have any hope at all. And as tourism comes back, they will then have the tourism and e-commerce. So they think their business is gonna go twice as well. So in Bermuda, this company called Beach Boys is selling beach chairs to tourists coming from the cruise ships. And when the cruises stopped, they thought they're also in trouble, they're gonna go bankrupt. Then they had this idea to put on sunset concerts and events for the locals, serve drinks on the beach and make it kind of fun to come out and hang out after work. And they're doing as well with that almost as they are with the cruise traffic. And that's only after a few months. They think if they develop their product within a year, they could be making as much or more money doing that in the evening than they were making during the day. So when cruise comes back, they're gonna be doubling their entire income. And they wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for COVID. Yeah, so this is exciting to come to the first big live travel event. And I think so many people are excited to actually travel again for the first time in months. And everyone's nervous. And it's been a lot of, well, juggling and kind of switching things around at the last minute because it's difficult to adjust to all the new rules from COVID. But they've done an amazing job here. Everyone has of putting this event together. I mean, there's a lot of people here. I don't know how many, but there's a lot. And I felt really safe the whole time. Uh, the COVID test that I did when I first came here was very smooth. It took like five minutes of waiting. And then uh, after the test, I waited five more minutes and I had more 10 minutes. I had my results and I came right in the door. So it's been super smooth. And I think the, the organization has been just amazing.